This is an exercise that should have happened a long time ago. Um, as Minister Fonseca said earlier, the previous administration kicked this can down the road. They, they were happy with, with the way the constituencies were divided. Um, the 2020 elections happened. It was a pledge in Plan Belize to make sure that we carry out redistricting. And we are, um, or we have started that process. It's an exercise that's done by the Election and Boundaries Commission. They are an independent bipartisan body, meaning that you have representation from the People's United Party and representation from the UDP. Um, so they are aware of what is happening. They have put together a task force. That task force has, start, has been working about eight or nine months now. Uh, and I'm sure that when they are completed with their um, report or their proposal, it will then go before the National Assembly. One of the areas we have to look at is perhaps separating the commission itself, we might have an elections commission and a boundaries commission. The reason for that is other jurisdictions do have full-time boundaries commission looking at constituencies, making sure that they're always as equal as possible. The election commission, of course, deals with elections too. So really, in Belize, we've combined those for a long time. But perhaps it's time that we have a full-time boundaries commission, making sure that the boundaries, electoral boundaries, are uh, or follow the constitution as, as um, you know, and have those working all the time, have technical persons on that commission as well. It's just an idea that I was thinking about. No? If you look at the statistics, I think, um, and looking at September 1st, 2022, which is the last time I did a, an analysis of it, there are 108, at that time, there were 188,696 voters. Belize District has 30% of those voters, Here. followed by Cayo, which has 25%, Orange Walk, which has around 18 for Rosal, and then San Creek and Toledo have about equally around 8%. So if you take that 30% of 31 seats are 10, that's where Belize District is currently at 12, um, or 13 if you include Belize Rural South. Um, so we have to make sure that it's apportioned properly. But look at the statistics. It's not only about saying, oh, this particular area has uh, more say because it has more seats, but we also have to look at the statistics. Traditionally, there are more voters in Belize District and Cayo, and we have to make sure that the um, constituencies represent that as well.